The Wave Rebellion Pro 2 is Mizuno's top of the range race day shoe and it's suitable for 5k races up to the full marathon. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run over 80 kilometers in the Wave Rebellion Pro 2 and this is my full review. This is the original Wave Rebellion Pro which came out last year. It was one of the most unique, wild and futuristic designs that I've ever seen on a race day shoe. I raced a half marathon in this and while I didn't get a PB, it was still really fun to use. The new Wave Rebellion Pro 2 still has that wild futuristic design, but it gets some major updates. The Wave Rebellion Pro 2 feels faster and more aggressive than last year's version. And this is because the carbon infused plate is stiffer. The other big update is that there used to be a gap in this section over here on the medial side, but they've filled it in now, so the ride is a lot more stable. I enjoy the Wave Rebellion Pro 2 for short, fast bursts, three kilometers or less. When I'm running any slower, I'm landing too far back in the shoe and because I'm a heel striker, I'm landing on this section and it feels like I'm hitting a speed bump. This G3 outsole is one of the best I've ever experienced when it comes to traction. It really bites onto the ground and it's unaffected by rain. Durability has also improved and the only wear that I can see is on this small section over here. Mizuno has fixed the sizing issue. They've made the forefoot and the toe box wider, so it now fits true to size compared to last year's version, which you had to go a half size up. The upper is really thin and breathability is good, but unfortunately, they've removed the extra set of eyelid holes, so you can't use a runner's knot. I didn't experience any heel slippage, but the heel is slightly loose and not as secure as I'd like. The Wave Rebellion Pro 2 is still one of the most innovative and unique super shoes on the market. But it's not a shoe for heavy heel strikers and over pronators. I find it way too unstable and too aggressive to run a full marathon in because of its narrow base and its heel cutoff. So by the end of the marathon, my calves and my heels would be destroyed. I also feel that it doesn't offer as much speed assistance as other races because the forefoot rocker isn't very prominent, so you don't get a forward tipping sensation. Version 2 is a definite improvement over version 1. It's lighter, it's more stable, and there's more bounce thanks to the new midsole design. When it comes to price, I think $250 is too much for this shoe. There are many other $250 shoes which are more versatile and offer more speed assistance. Let us know down in the comment section below if you've run in this shoe and if you think it's worth $250. You can also read my full written review on Running Shoes Guru. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.